In this video, we're going to go through the process of configuring a Polycom IP handset for use with the comms VoIP telephony service. The, the phone you can see in front of you is a Polycom IP320, but most models of Polycom should behave similarly. After taking your phone out of the box and attaching the power supply and a network cable, you should be in a position to start the device. You'll see a number of tabs appear on the screen. You'll need to press Setup before it disappears. Enter the phone password, which by default is 456, and OK. You'll be presented with a menu. Go down three times, using the arrow keys available, until it says Server Menu, and then Select. Press down once again, until it says Server Address. You'll need to fill in this field, press Edit, and then change the um, Entry mode from letters to numbers with the left hand button under the screen, and then enter the server address 85.user-star-for-a.90.225.10. 85.90.225.10. Once this has been filled in, press OK. You'll be prompted to put in your FTP password as well. You will have been given an FTP password by comms, which needs to go in here. My one is FTP TES two C. Okay, when that's entered, you also need to enter your FTP password. And that will be numbers nine seven nine four. If you ever make a mistake, then just go back with the arrows. 7941 uh, Once that's entered, again your password will be unique. Uh, press OK. That's it. You don't need to change anything else. Press exit once, exit twice. Select to save and reboot. Um, the phone will finish and should shortly confirm that it will reboot and begin the configuration process. Rebooting now. Every time the phone starts up again, you can press start on the screen to speed things up a little bit. The phone should first search the network for an address. If it has a problem with that, then it should confirm that here. And then assuming that the address is OK, it will begin the upload and download process. If you see a message here saying I could not contact boot server, that means it was not able to find the address that you put in, possibly because of uh, a typographical error, possibly because the FTP has been denied to the device on the network. The first time you uh, boot up a new device, this download process may take uh, up to five or ten minutes. And the phone may reboot a couple more times before it's finished. When it's ready, it should confirm its IP address as it does so here. And it should then go to a final screen with the correct date and time and the last few digits of your preferred comms number on the right. You can test your phone configuration by picking up the handset checking for a dial tone and making a call to any number. Uh, as a test, you can always dial 789, which should connect you to the comms test number. Congratulations, you have made a successful voiceover IP telephone call.